Well, hello, hello, and welcome to another episode of Coffee Craft. I am your host, Anon Jr., frantically adjusting my mic. Sorry about that. All right, today we start off over in the area formerly known as the Trading Hall with the iron farm behind us because, if you remember, last week we built, we rebuilt the iron farm. Bigger, faster, stronger. Yes, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> All those iron blocks are just what's been left over in the uh, in the inventory of the iron farm uh, from when we built it last week. That's not counting what any of us have pulled for various uses. That, uh, yeah. So I guess we got it working good. I mean, the this right here is just what's been popped up in the last uh, 10 minutes. Yeah, because I cleared it out. I tweeted that I was going live. Did a couple of last-minute adjustments for a few things. Uh, sorry, i got to move a couple of windows around. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> and, uh... <laughs> yeah, look at that iron pour in. Oh, it's glorious. It is glorious. Now, we did have to make a couple of changes. So, let's uh, fly up there real quick. Way up there. Eventually, we will decorate this so it won't be quite the uh, suspended eyesore. Hey, look, there goes another guy. Now, over here, we had left a couple of blocks accidentally. It's kind of hard to see from this angle, so uh, it got cleaned up, but otherwise, they are working just fine. And over here, we had to get rid of the two idiots that were in there because uh, I didn't realize it. But the, the idiots from the old villagers, you know, the old green coat guys that wouldn't do anything. Um, for some reason, I, I thought that they would pick a profession and become a productive villager like everybody else. They don't. And so they might have met an untimely demise somewhere along the way. <clears throat> and the last two guys that were down there in the old farm were ferried on up here and put in here, and that seemed to fix getting this side generating. Although, I have a new problem, which you might notice if you can do basic math. That is supposed to be three people inside that cell. All right, so <laughs> you can see supposed to be three people in there there's four and that's just what survived we've had the occasional villager um, fall down and go the way of the golem <clears throat> and for some reason those two guys are standing outside the cell and I thought I'd fix that because I had apparently left a couple of blocks under there that I shouldn't have but I, I came up I pillared up I cleared it out I got rid of everything such that the only valid spot for these guys to stand is supposed to be inside that little, you know, protective enclosure. And... yeah. Yeah, that doesn't seem to be the case. So... I don't know. Eventually I'll try to figure out what to do to clean these guys up. Uh, one of these four might make an untimely fall somewhere along the way. Uh, it won't have anything to do with me. I'll be over there doing something. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so... So that's what's going on there. But in the meantime, this thing is working like a treat. Again, this is based off of a video that Doc M posted. There's a link in the archive over in YouTube. So if you want, if you didn't get a chance to watch us do it live, the replay is available on Twitch and Mixer, and it has been uploaded to YouTube. Uh, if so if you're watching on Mixer, Twitch, or now, the YouTube link should be down in the description somewhere. And if you're already watching on YouTube, well, you know where it is. It's just the last one in the, in the list. Following up on another project, we come down this way to the lighthouse. If you remember... We had some redstone struggles over here where we, I, was, I was just struggling with getting a proper clock working. We got all the lights to light up after some on-screen struggles because 
Uh, powering stuff with redstone still confuses me. I've been going back over some videos. Uh, Logical Geek Boy has a wonderful series out that has been helpful. Um, as have a couple others. And <laughs> you'll notice this little thank you Mumbo YouTube link here. Uh, that is a video that Mumbo did a long time ago outlining the basic redstone components and a couple of basic clocks and things and circuits and uh, stuff you really ought to know. And it was while watching that video he demonstrated a clock very similar in design to this, except simpler. It was a solid block. It was a redstone torch. It was dust, dust, uh, there was two repeaters in there too. Uh, anyway, it was a longer, narrower circuit, and it just and it had a lever on the solid block, so that way, when the block was unpowered by the lever, the torch would turn on. It would power this redstone dust, which would power the repeater, which would power the redstone dust, which would power the repeater, which would power the redstone dust, which would power the repeater, which would power the block. And by powering the block, it would turn the torch off, which would turn the power off, which would turn the repeater off, turn the... It, you get the idea. And around and around it would go. So what I did here is after seeing the, the long, narrow design that was on Mumbo's video, I replicated it here, except the block I chose is a note block. And the reason why I did that is because I, I needed to figure out a way to... Uh, to get these blocks to light up and doing a bunch of repeaters wasn't going to work off of this because uh, it can't draw power off of the side of a repeater and I needed a little more delay. So what I did is I just crafted up a bunch of observers and they're watching. So when this turns on, the observer notices the change in the block in front of it and pops out a little farter power <laughs> and... Uh, Sorry, that's the best word I'd come with, with on the moment. And powers the middle lamp strongly, which weakly lights the lamp above, below, and to the right of it. And then that power comes over to this repeater. This observer notices the change in state for the receiver, puts out his little power, and the power moves on here. He notices the change and lights up that one. He also notices the change and lights up that one. Then the power moves here, notices the change, lights it up, and round and round it goes. And as the power cuts off, these guys also update on the change. So you get a really nice strobe effect coming all the way down. That little splat of redstone dust on top... Oh, sorry, I forgot to mention. Why in the note block? Because the note block is a component that the observer will notice a change in. So when you power the note block, unlike a solid block, when you power the note block, the observer will see the change in the note block and put out his own little puff of power. And Because if we use a solid block, then this guy here and this guy here would not light up those lamps. And you get this really weird gap in your light rotation thing. So I put a little splat of redstone dust on top and a daylight sensor set up so that way when daylight was out, it would power that dust, which was powering that block. Oh, and here we go. There we go. Now we got our nice little rotation of lights. So you see it every time the observer sees a change. You see a little blinking light on top. That means that he's putting out a little power towards the lamps. And the delay helps make the rotation a little bit more bearable. It looks a little weird up close, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to head on over to the Coffee Craft logo. Okay, I still got to work on my landing. And you get that nice little uh, lighthouse strobe effect. Looking pretty nice. So that was the final. That was the final bit that we were trying to do. I could get them all to turn on and turn off based on the daylight sensor before. And um, I tried a couple other designs. I might show them just to show you what I tried, why I tried it, and how, why it failed. But uh, one of them was a little hopper clock where it was a ring of hoppers that would, and uh, comparators pulling signals off of the hoppers so that a solid item would rotate through the hoppers 
And that worked great for the clock. I like the strobing effect of that one a lot better than this. It, it was a lot smoother. The only problem was, uh, the only way to stop the clock was to lock one of the hoppers and trap the item. But uh, where whichever hopper the item got trapped in would cause those lights to stay lit. Uh, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm wondering if the observers would have noticed the change in the hopper as it went through. That might be something worth playing through because again, uh, I like this. It's pretty simple and straightforward and most importantly, it works. Uh, but if I can get something that's got a smoother rotation, I, I might try that out. But, um, so that is the second update. So we got our iron farm, which is working very nicely, except for those two yahoos. We're still having a little trouble over there. And, uh, we got our lighthouse working. Look at that. Beautiful. So now we just got to get a cap on that. We never bothered putting a roof because, well, the wiring wasn't done. Now... Now that the short updates are done, it's on to the main attraction. I need to do some remodeling over in my little cabin here. So far for Season Zero, I've had a couple of brewing stands sitting around the enchanting station. I've just got a chest full of supplies sitting over here in the corner and a couple of stands sitting on top ready to go. And the problem is, you gotta come in, drop in each ingredient manually. And as nice as that is, you know, it works. I mean, I've put together a couple of potions. Oh no, that's just the water. I put together a couple of potions. I got some more stashed away in an ender chest over there. Um, I only use a couple of potions. And. So, oh, yeah. I just saw the note I left for myself to remind myself, and I jumped ahead from uh, item 2 to item 4, but, uh, oh well. Um, so, what I usually end up doing is I end up going to a reference sheet. I don't know if you can see that in the camera. It's from the Minecraft wiki, and it's got a list of all the potion burning recipes because I have short-term memory something or other. And I, I just like, okay, I need a potion of fire resistance. Uh, it's the nether wart because everything, almost everything, almost everything gets nether wart. And I don't know. Let me look it up. And I don't use that many potions. Seriously. I use instant health, fire resistance. I found that speed potion out of a chest somewhere. I use slow falling. And occasionally I used water breathing. Although now that we got the uh, fancy enchantments like respiration, uh, I use water breathing less than I used to. I've got some splash potions of instant damage just because. But seriously, I don't need those all that often. That would be one that I'm willing to reference later on and look up. So, uh, because we've got all that over there... And I need a couple of my reference images up on the side here. Okay. Um, so, because I only need three, four-ish potions, what I was thinking of doing was knocking out these walls here, pushing them back, and do the same on this side and set up, you know, two, three-ish automated potion brewing stations. And I looked at a couple of different designs. Um... One of which, the one that I'm going to actually use, I had found some time ago and had put on my save for later list. It, except I never, later never quite got here. And it is by Cortez Arino. It, I put it out in the tweet that went out before the live stream. And I will have it down in the description when it comes time for the replay and on YouTube. But uh, Cortez Reno put together a really simple brewing station. It only handles three ingredients, but um, everything I'm brewing is three ingredients. It is more than enough for what I need. It is tie level, and most importantly, it is too wide. So I can fit one here, two, then go three, and four. Sorry, try not to hit my dogs. 
Um, so I can fit four potion brewing stations around the enchanting station. Uh, I had looked at one that Impulse SV had posted uh, a couple of weeks ago, and that's kind of what spurred this on. It was one of those things that I always thought about doing, but man, I don't want to go hunting down videos. I don't want to try to figure it out myself right now, so I'll save it for later. I saw Impulse's video, and it's like, oh, okay, yeah, that's, that's not as hard as I was thinking it was going to be, except his design is three wide. So, you know, I'm sitting here going, one, two, three. I could go, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. All right, and that would that would fit it all in there. Um, <clears throat> and, <laughs> yeah, that would technically fit it all in there, but I'd have to move the enchanting station, so I started digging a hole, and I was going through my my coffee craft reference list you know videos that i want to reference when i'm doing other builds and uh or you know things that have inspired me things that i want to save for later uh tutorials that help me with a couple of things that you know short-term memory kicks in and that's when i saw the cortez arena one and impulses brewing station will handle four ingredients that's part of why the redstone required takes up three wide so I had to decide, do I want smaller, but only three ingredients, or wider, and four ingredients? Um, incidentally, <laughs> yeah, it's just one of those things. I don't know if there's like a collective uh, consciousness thing that spurs everybody on to similar or similar projects, but uh, Pixel Riffs posted a video today I think it was it was either today or yesterday um, outlining the potion brewing station that he's using in his survival world and I like it it reminds me a lot of the one Arcadius used in the server before this one if you watched our nostalgia video a couple weeks ago it, you would have seen the design again I apologize in that video for uh, streaming and recording on the wrong channel so the only audio we got was this guy we had Rayest and Arcadius talking and we were chatting and we were going over all sorts of wonderful things and it didn't make it to the video <sighs> because sometimes that's the way it goes all right so this is going to be my project today I'm going to push these walls back I'm going to try to figure out how to wire things together. Um, I am a little concerned for how things are going to look since I will impinge a little bit on this space. I might move these boxes with the uh, books somewhere else. Or I may just leave them there. I mean, seriously. It's not that bad. Uh... And I still never got rid of all these boxes up here anyway. I was initially going to make this area up here a storage room. And yeah. That ended up staying the storage room. Yeah. Best laid plans and all that. So. Let me. Find where I put those blocks there. So I can put them back. I want to say. Yeah. There we go. Let me go ahead and just fill this back in. Like nothing ever happened. And then we're going to start over here. And I'm going to try to fit one, two, three, four brewing stations in there. I've got two more stands in my inventory. we got the two guys there. And I may, I may end up crafting one more brewing stand that I can put somewhere freestanding. Because I would like to have just one stand off by its lonesome uh, for that rare occasion where I need something a little more advanced than what I got. I, I may even just throw a hopper on top of it so that way I can toss all the items into the hopper and let it do its thing. Uh, that way I don't have to come back and check on it. Because short term memory. Uh, so, with all that said and done, let's get to cracking. First things first, I'm going to bust this big chest of things open. 
and I'm going to get a box of all the different stuff over here. And yeah, I hate that I left a couple of awkward potions, but oh well. I'll put them back in later. I know there's going to be a couple of stacks of that, so we'll do that. And let's pick up this guy. And this guy. Move you down a little bit. <laughs> Reminds me of Java. Silent but deadly. Especially when you feed him peanut butter. There's a story there. I'll save that for another day. Oh! Oh, I wasn't, uh... Hmm... I, I wasn't... Base. The final concern. Alright. This shouldn't be too hard. I can just pack that up there. And there we go. I'll unpack that later. Okay. Let's see, if I look at the design, any one, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna need five back. And I'm going to need one, two, three, four, five high. Three, four, five high. Yeah, I was gonna. When I was going to put the wider one from Impulse in here, that meant I was going to move the enchanting station from over here over there and kind of tuck it in on the stair under the stairs. That was having me a little bit nervous for space. Alright. Um, hmm. Does this mean I just want the whole wall pushed back a little bit more? No, because that's going to change that back there. So that's going to be... One, two, three, four. I am a little worried because I do have my sugarcane farm back here a little bit. And uh, it seemed like the ideal place to put it at the time. Mostly because my primary concern was pumping the sugarcane directly into the storage box so I didn't have to worry about emptying the farm. And it has been my intention to do that with more of the uh, more of the farms and such. You see how far that's gotten me, huh? Okay. Let me... Uh I put a light in here somewhere just that way. Oh, okay. So that's just the uh, under there. Good to know. I don't need rockets while I'm inside. I'll drop the lamp down there. I'll figure out a way to decorate it better on the other side of that. I just don't want something uh, sitting <laughs> coming through and uh, yeah. Me get any four blocks, so let me use stone brick. That way, I don't have to worry about accidentally clobbering the redstone when I dig this stuff up. Actually, let me get another another set of bricks, just because I would like to go ahead and let's uh. Okay, no actual redstone is going to sit on that, so I'll leave that there. I want to make sure that, uh, <laughs> even though it's going to clash with the design, I am putting something of importance on here, and, uh, yeah. 
even though I use a lot of stone brick in my build, I've been using it as my redstone building block. Actually, you know what? Oh, never mind. I don't know. Too many thoughts. Too many thoughts. All right, I'm going to need a comparator. Oh, I'm going to need some redstone components. So let's go ahead and... I'm going to need three per station. I'm making four stations. So let me get... Uh, six, twelve. I'm going to need twelve hoppers. And one more. I am going to need a bunch of droppers. I'm going to need 12 droppers, so... Here's where the short-term memory thing comes in again. And I'm going to need a redstone, right? I should be able to go... Dropper. 11, 12. So we're going to need 12 of those guys. I am going to need a bunch of pieces of dust, so let me go ahead and break down a few more of those. I'm going to need four redstone torches. Let me just make up four more. stone and a bunch more torches so you know let me just ooh that's not a problem somewhere over here I've got an abundance of planks that I crafted too many of for another project there we go I didn't think that was it, but apparently that was it. Okay. I don't like odd numbers. Alright. I try not to overcraft stuff because this takes up less space than this, and so on and so forth. Alright. Um. Alright. So I'm going to need... Two torches per repeater. For four repeaters, I'm going to need eight more torches. And I should then be able to go repeater. One, two, three, four. I'm going to need. Four quartz and eight more torches. I need one, two, three, four. Oops. Let's judge that. I just need four more torches then. So I forgot that was three torches and not just two. Some chests. I've already got two up there, so let me get uh, let me get three more. I'll explain why three in a little bit. Eight. Oh wait, no. I miscounted the hoppers. I need sixteen. For the freestanding one. One of those chests is going to be for the freestanding one. And... Okay. What is the recipe for brewing stand again? Blaze rod, three cobble. 
Okay. Let me grab one, two, three. And I'm running a little on blaze rods too. I'll have to go do something about that. And one more brewing stand. I'm going to need five in total. And I'm going to need a bunch of dust. And... Oh, buttons. Three, four. Four buttons. I think that does it. Toss that in there. All right. So, I am going to need to put down a chest, a hopper is going into that chest, and I am going to need, let me just go ahead and grab all the brewing stands for right now. Is one of those guys is going on top of there. I'll make up some more for the other one. forgetting. That is also an ingredient. Alright. So we've got our brewing stand all appropriately powdered up and ready to go. We've got the hopper that's going to pull the completed potions out from under it. And I'm going to need... Hoppers. The droppers are going to go on top of them, facing in. That's okay. Because one of the nice data packs that we added on here. And I know I've got more of them floating around <laughs> somewhere, but I don't feel like hunting them down. One of the, or let me just check. Yeah, okay. One of the data packs that we added to the CoffeeCraft server from the Vanilla Tweaks website is a redstone rotation wrench. Bam. So we can actually use this wrench to rotate the redstone around. And that is one of the things that's going to make this job a lot easier. Rather than trying to figure out the 82 different ways it's going to take to find the perfect geometry. It's two. Do we get him? We got him. Good. Okay. Get those guys going in there. We might as well toss the button on here. So, the way this works, when you push the button, it's going to strongly power the middle guy, which is also going to weakly power the top two. And that means they're going to toss their ingredients into this hopper chain, which is going to feed down into this guy. And the next little bit is going to lock and unlock the stuff that we need locked and unlocked to make this a lot easier. And I vastly undercounted the number of chests that I need because I forgot I need a double chest for water four times over. Hmm. That is not a double chest four times over. All right, I just need two more. Alright, 
of saving those for another project, but I'll make some more later. Okay. So push that button. It's going to power those guys. It's going to dispense the ingredients down into there, which is going to go into those guys there. And now I just need to go and... What do I need to do? I need to grab... I'm going to need more than a couple bricks. Because I forgot. I, I didn't realize I was going to have to fill in the floor. Alright, so I'm going to need... Bam. Did I miscount? Oh. Duh. <laughs> Guess who started building one too far? This guy. Stop. Breathe. Think. I thought something looked a little weird. Because this box should have been here. And this upper should have been here. This is where our finished potions are going to go. Which means that this brewing stand can now go here. And I can redo the acrobatics that were needed to make this guy happen. One, two, three. Now I can do this and use that guy. Guess it would help if I clicked on the right one, right? Okay. One, two, three, there we go. <laughs> Stop, breathe, double check. I'm glad I figured that out before I got too much further, eh? Alright. There that is, and now we can go one, two, two. And I might need that. Go back to this guy. Oh, that used up one of the charges just breaking that down. I didn't realize that. The more you know. All right, I'll have to get some more blaze powder here before too long. All right, so those guys are the buttons ready to power them. They're all facing into the hopper train. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get a repeater. Pump that way, right? Yes. I'm going to get a comparator. Come off of here. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull a signal from this guy. And that's going to need to come up. One more. One more. Yes. Did I miscount the hoppers still? Uh, counting is not my strong suit today. Alright. Spruce planks there. Nope. How about that? 
that's a little smarter. What's going to happen is when I push the button, that's going to drop ingredients into here. The comparator is going to pick up the signal and it is going to both depower this torch, which will unlock this hopper. And it's also going to power the block, which is going to power this guy, which is going to lock the hopper below the brewing stand. And as long as there are ingredients, water bottles will be able to flow through and no potions will get sucked out because if we didn't do that this would pull all the potions that have not yet finished brewing out of the stand okay i guess i will need a little cobble to cover that back up and it is lit up back there so nothing's gonna spawn in I guess I could put something behind there to make that less ugly. Alright, that might be another project for another day. No, I'm here. Let's do it right. Okay, here's the question. a million dollar question. What do I put behind this thing? Do I go get some more uh, spruce? I am going to end up with more spruce planks than I know what to do with. But I mean, that's not going to cover that much. Oh, let's say I do this. And I can't put one there. And if I put one there, it's going to cut off that redstone signal. So, uh... I can maybe put a slab... No, I can't put a slab up there. Alright, I guess that's going to be as tidy as it gets. Well, that's a shame. It's the same deal here. If I put a plank here, I'm going to cut off that signal there. That, yeah, those planks there do nothing to make that look better. Alright, well, then ugly it is. That should be one station down. It is really that simple. Um, if I go grab... <laughs> Not that many, apparently. So that's going to have to be some cobble stairs. I need more space in my inventory. Now you notice the water bottles are not getting sucked in there yet. That is because the power, the hopper under there is powered. Go get a uh, one, two, three, four. still getting there. Uh, one of the things that I'll eventually do is I will prime this hopper. Actually, what I'll do is I'll prime this hopper with uh, only four water bottles and then I'll save that last one for uh, some blaze powder. Six in there for now. You know what? Mm. 
I'm gonna have to go hunting some blaze. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go hunt some blaze. Alright, uh, hmm. Maybe I'll be, uh, redoing this one before too long. <laughs> Eventually, I'll put some blaze powder in there, and that way the water bottles will th flow through three at a time before it gets to over there, and the blaze will drop in. The blaze powder will drop in. All right. Oh, yeah. And if I remember right, I need to prime this. With a bit of nether wart. So let's break this guy back down. We're going to prime it with a bit of nether wart. And we're going to put the rest in the top dropper. We want the nether wart to be the last item in. Uh, just because of the way the way the mechanics are set up, uh, Cortez Reno's got a more full explanation. Um, we've primed it with one bit of nether wart, and so the last item through the hopper is going to be that last bit of nether wart from the top. Uh, just because of the way the timing and everything works out. So I'll have to figure out what potion I want to brew in here, fill in the other two ingredients from there. And uh, maybe I'll actually clear out that uh, potions chest over there <laughs> and uh, start filling up the chest with these guys. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and do that right now. Let's, uh, let's make this first one, the one that's easiest to reach. Um, we'll put those guys in there. Let's make this first one my instant health. So as you can see, I've got a decent stock already. I don't use them all that often. I like to take them when I'm going nether hunting and uh, end busting. So, the aforementioned short-term memory thing. my handy dandy guide and instant health instant health is going to be healing I'm going to need glistening melon and glowstone Yeah, I think the name changed between when this was public, when a class grabbed a copy of this. Alright, so I'm going to need Glistening Melon and Glowstone. The Glistening Melon is for the healing, the Glowstone is to extend the effect. Um, I'll leave. No, let me just go ahead and take all that now. Glistening Melon. I'm going to need glowstone for a few others, almost certainly. So let me go ahead and grab a little bit more of that. So the ingredients that need to come in are the glistening melon and the glowstone. We've got the nether wart, glistening melon, glowstone. All right. You know what? Before we build the rest of them, let's make sure this works the way it's supposed to. Bam. Uh. Okay. Uh, 
that didn't work as planned. That shouldn't matter. All right, no. Uh, power zero, power one. Let me think on that and pick up the uh, stone I dropped. I better not walk around with that. Oh. Alright. Uh, so what did I do? That's wrong. Or what did not work the way it was supposed to? Why did... first I have to go back and rewatch the video all right you know what let's go ahead and grab those three awkward potions let's get those guys in there oh no they're gonna fall through because that one is not powered Through. The water bottles did not go through because this never got unpowered. This never got unpowered because this torch never got unpowered. This torch never got unpowered because that block did not get powered enough. Yeah. I wonder if there was a change in the version between the one when Cortezarino built this and now. That is, uh... Looking at the screenshots over here on my second monitor. It is the 5 by 2 square. That torch is most definitely powering over there. You know what? Just for kicks, let's unload a bunch of this stuff over in here. for kicks. Let's go ahead and when that turns off yeah all the water is going to end up in there because that is unpowered allowing those guys in there and the one underneath is also unpowered sucking them through back in place. Don't see any delay on the repeater. Just for kicks, let's go ahead and bump that up one more. Because that's going to power that just a little bit longer. But that, I don't think that's our problem. Our problem is this guy here is not getting 
depowered? All right. I don't know if you can hear it on your side, but I also hear zombies. And it makes me nervous to hear zombies with uh, all the villager stuff I got going over here. Oh, okay. Yeah. You guys are after the tasty villagers I've got over my farm there. That zombie flesh can't be used in uh, <laughs> some potions. It'd give it another use. Alright. Are you guys safe? You guys are safe. I'll get to you later, too. That was during one of the earlier 1.14 versions where things got a little weird. Uh, I'm also in the middle of putting together a massive netherwort farm. I just uh, gotta decide how massive I want to make it. A little starter farm until I got enough. Okay. Just as long as nobody was in the villager area. That was my main concern. Okay. <laughs> now we can get back to puzzling over redstone. Puzzled by redstone with a non-junior. We now return you. We now return you to puzzled by redstone with a non-junior. Currently in progress. <laughs> Alright. So. Just for kicks. Let's try this the other way around. Let's not prime it. Let's get our glowstone, our glistening melon, our netherwort. Alright, our netherwort came in. Those two guys... Yeah, okay. So two items in here. I feel like I'm missing a step. Like maybe I was supposed to put a couple of filler items in here. That might be it. Oh, I bet that was it. Okay. Alright, I'm on to you now. So I'm gonna need... One nether wart to start this. Gonna need my glowstone dust. I'm going to need my glistening melon. I'm going to. Gonna need my starter nether wart. And I. Because this is probably gonna be very similar to your basic bog standard item filter. I'm actually going to go ahead and, uh, actually no, I use stone. I just need some item that doesn't normally get caught up in, in, uh, potion brewers. I don't expect them to use fish at any point in time, so I remember why they're there. These are my... These are my filter fish. <laughs> Alright, and it was... Four? Yeah, because that already gives me a redstone signal of... One, zero. But let's drop an item. All right, let's, uh, pow. Almost.
Basically, I'm adding items until I get that signal strength up enough. Maybe it was seven each that did it. It might actually be less than that, but we'll find out in a second. All right, so this is gonna go through. This is gonna go through its brewing. This is what I get for not watching the full video before I hit stream. I recommend you watch the full video <laughs> before you start doing it. There's our instant health. This should be our last ingredient. Oh. Alright, so that means that I've got too many items in here. Still leaving that off. Well, of course those went through because... <laughs> Did I lose all my water bottles? I lost all my water bottles. I'm not going to bother filling those back up because that is off. It was one of those where, uh, that is on, means the bottles will, which means this hopper will be locked, and is one more going to be, yeah, one more item is going to be the one that makes it all happen. Okay, so it's going to be 19 and then three more. Or we can do it like that. Either way, it doesn't matter. Uh, we've got our starter nether wart. I should be able to add all my water bottles. I have to do something about those awkward potions. Uh, let me, you know what? That guy's going to find a better home somewhere else in a little bit. I just need those out of my inventory. So now we can go... Alright. There's a bunch more water bottles. I can actually grab four more. Four more. As he grabs five. I are a professional. Okay. So I've got my potions. They're locked in there. I've got my starter nether wart. I've got just the filter fish. Which means I should be able to go blam. And the potions fill in and it is cooking the nether wart. sitting here watching water boil or potions brew and here comes the melon and here comes the glowstone to bunch it bump it from instant health to instant health too Nether wart should be the last thing to drop and it won't start adding to the potions because they're already they they won't take another nether wart. And at that point it'll have dropped out of the hopper. 
bumping the signal strength back down, allowing those guys to drain. And there we go. Except for one water bottle. Why is there one water bottle? Did I leave that in there? I am slightly concerned about that. I'm also going to need... Ooh, I'm going to need a water source. And, yeah, I'm going to need a water source in here. So I can fill up the water bottles and... Keep getting all these glass bottles from uh <laughs> from the witch farm well from the general mob farm but from the witches in that farm down this away they don't happen often but they happen often enough we don't have the rest of those there we go got a little water source down uh, over by the mob dropper, but that doesn't do me much good over here. I could put one behind the wall there, but that's, that's just not right. Uh, could put one over here by the enchanting station. No, that's not right either. out that way. Hmm. Alright, I'll return back to that conundrum later. Right now I'm burning, uh, burning stream time on a question that doesn't really have a good answer at the moment. Nor does it need to. Oops. There we go. should do something with this back wall. Alright. Ah. Save that for another day. Alright. Pull this part up real quick. So that way I can grab some brick. Lay that down where the redstone goes. start this over again. I'm going to need a chest there. I'm going to need a hopper back here. Let me go ahead and do some of this redstone back this way since I've got the template. I'm going to need a block. Need a repeater. I'm going to need a block. One more on top of that, and one more on top of that. We're going to need a torch. We're going to need dust there, dust here, dust there. Well, dusting of dust everywhere. And I'm going to need to go up one more. Alright, yep. Okay. We need one of those guys there. I'm gonna need a bunch of these guys here. Yep. 
<laughs> okay. All right. Six six five five six six five five or nineteen and ones across, whichever way helps you better. All right. Then I'm gonna need one going into the side of there. Box, a double box. That is everything that needs to happen over here, right? Yep, okay. Bueno. Gonna need some droppers. And turn that joker around. Turn that joker around. Right, yep, okay. That's the only one I'm not sure about. I keep leaning back in my chair. <laughs> okay. I don't think he's facing the right direction. There we go. Now he's facing the right direction. Yeah, now he's facing the right direction. Yeah, and that was uh, that was everything we needed there. Let me throw our button on the side here. We get rid of our dirt stairs, and we attempt to beautify. So we'll throw another block there. Throw some planks there. like a stair rotation wrench. <laughs> oh well. Do what you can with what you have, right? Grab. One of those guys, and if I toss them in there. Yep, okay, they're locked. Grab some more. Some more filter fish too. <laughs> All right, and I'll need to do some labels on these guys eventually. Yeah, you know what? Let me go grab some signs. Two signs a piece, right? I have a whole bunch of signs in here. There, that works. Listening melon. 
stirring melon. The stirring melon. Nah, you know what? It's fine. Another wort. Glowstone dust. Glistering melon. Now, what potion shall I put in you if I've got my, uh... Let's do the fire resistance then. I'll be back for the torch later. Alright, and fire resistance. That's going to be magma cream and redstone. So we're going to go another wart. Redstone, which is what increases the duration. plus E A N C E fire resistance plus all right so now I just need to get the nether wart the <laughs> redstone and the magma cream and uh, redstone Seriously? That's all the magma cream I have? Oh, okay. I was getting worried there. Alright. I need to break this down. And all but one is going to go up in this dropper here. I'll drop back in there. I'm going to need the rest for other things, so. And the magma cream is going to go in there. Seed, another wart's going in there. I'm going to need to go ahead and go bam. There we go. Okay. So let's double check. That goes in, those guys go down, we're cooking up, cooking up our nether wart now. Slowly but steadily. There's our awkward, our magma cream is going in now. Steadily. There's our fire resistance at three minutes and the redstone should extend it to eight minutes. That's what the plus and fire resistance plus is. Last nether wart, everything drains out. And that is all fire resistance plus. Sweet. We still gotta do something about all the uh, water bottles. But that'll happen soon enough. Alright, we just need to do two more of these guys. And then by the time this is done, I can remove those two boxes there. Do I have in here anyway? Saddles for some reason. Extra books. Those are empty. You know what? So I'm not tempted to store stuff in there. Let's go ahead and pick those up. And those are empty. Must have already moved that stuff. Alright. Don't know why I have 
two boxes of saddles. I truly, I do not. It is a mystery to me. Pretty sure I had that torch there for a reason. I just don't remember what it was. But you know what? Let's go ahead and... <laughs> yeah, no, that would be too easy. Uh, let's go ahead and... Let's put that there for now. I'll find a better home for it later. These guys should be putting out more than enough light to keep stuff from spawning here. Although, let me, you know, let me go ahead and check. Uh, light 3, 8, 9, 10, 11, 8, yeah. Yeah. 8 is as bad as it gets, and that's not that bad at all. Um, I could always put a glowstone under here if I really needed to. Alright, two down. That's that's gonna get moved anyway. Yeah, I think I'd put those up on the wall before I put these guys in the floor. I'll have to go through those books later. I know, I know. I, oh. Yeah, that wasn't what I meant to do. But, uh, we'll go with it. saving these. Oh! No! Now I remember why. Every time I need a non-stackable item for redstone components, I use the saddles. I fished them up from the uh, AFK fish farm. No, no. That's not all of them. That should be all of them. Alright. Yes. Yes. Um. Almost. Don't know what that was all about, but okay. Yeah. Okay. That's good enough. I actually wonder if using the saddles, although I forget if they give off, uh, I seem to recall non-stackable items giving off a different signal strength than, uh, stackable items, but that is something I'm going to have to double check again. Actually, that ought to be easy enough. I've got a couple of comparators right now, so let's go ahead and let's go. Bam. We'll put a chest, and we'll put a chest. And we'll drop some redstone dust and redstone dust. The power level of that dust should be relative to what we draw off of the item we put in there. So if I put a saddle in here, it's gonna get, should give me one. And if I put a stackable item, it should give me something else. So the stackable item, that is a power of one and power of one. going to change the more I put in there. And that's power of two, but if I put in another stick, that is still power of one. Okay, yeah, because the power level is relative to the number of slots that are filled up. Almost makes me wonder if it wouldn't be worth using, instead of renaming some fish <laughs> and using that as my filter. Um, if it wouldn't be worth using saddles, just because that occupies up enough space, but, uh, those are small enough stacks that I'm pretty sure that's going to put off too strong a signal, and so I'm really going to just want to, yeah, you know what, let's go with what we got, because we know it works. Oh! 
That is the other side to efficient taxes. Okay. Yeah, that's not too bad. I might throw a couple more slabs across that way. Matter of fact, you know what? Let me go ahead and just... Uh, I do that. Oh wait, no. That's right. That's why I did do that. I think I mentioned that I have that short-term memory thing. Or something close enough to it. Did I? Pretty sure I did. Okay. <laughs> and that crafting recipe is uh, another one of the data packs that we have on the server. So don't please don't be confused by that. Alright. So that's two potion brewing stations down. Now for the next one. It's only 9.30, so we should be able to finish this up before the end of the stream. I don't know why I had that there. All right, one, two, three. I just need two more up. Two. Is empty enough that the water bottles might not be. Let me get a solid nine in there. Get one more in there. Oh, water. Okay. Should be able to do. Oh. Low falling. Water breathing. Instant damage. All right. Yeah. the water breathing and the slow falling that I wanted to do next. Let's get those guys in there for now. That gives me the room to work around that space there. Those two chests are eventually going to go away and I'll have to clean those up another day. Um, Five back, so that's one, two, three, four. putting this potion brewing station off for far longer than I should have. <laughs> Although again, I haven't been using too many potions here lately. I've got some in an emergency box. And once I get these stations up, one of the things that I'm what I probably ought to do is I ought to set up a Oh, that's for the uh, sugarcane farm. <laughs> okay. Um I think I've showed it on stream. It's very similar to the uh, bamboo farm I set up in the town center. So that's the power strip for those guys there. And uh, I don't know why I got the torch. I don't think anything's going to spawn there. So let me go ahead and pop that. And let me put one of those guys there. By the way, I'm, okay. I was kind of worried about that. If I was worried about a baby zombie spawning in there or something, but uh, I should have known better. 
with the uh, redstone there, it wouldn't have happened. And I don't have to worry about that wall looking pretty, because that's going to be... Uh, yeah. What? Got the extra stone. Go ahead and clean that up just a little bit. That way that's not looking too bad. The rest of that I'm not going to worry about for now. Something there. I drop these guys in here so I got a little light back there. That way nothing's getting... Uh, Nothing spawning. Uh. There we go. That'll leave that there for now. Alright. I'm going to need a chest here for collection. I need a chest here for collection. to need a hopper going into the back of each of them. I am going to need a brewing stand on top of each of them. It escaped me just that quick. <laughs> okay, I'm going to need two blocks. One block. Gonna need one more there. Gonna need my two repeaters. One to go there, one to go there. Right, yep. My two comparators. One to go there, one to go there. I'm gonna need some dust. That's gonna go that way. And I'm gonna need lock up there. Lock up there, right? Yep. Because there's going to be my last two torches going here and here. And the dust is going to come up this way into the hopper that's going in there. Going up that way into the hopper that's going up there. All right. And speaking of hoppers, I'm going to need. How did I end up one short? Now, how did I end up too short? Oh my, Counting and I are not getting along. Did I toss them in a box by mistake? Nope. Okay. Alright. Let me go grab a couple more. Good. You know what? Here's the whole stack. Well, nearly a stack. I'm tired of running back and forth going, I miscounted. I miscounted again. No wonder why uh, <laughs> no wonder why a lot of the YouTubers just crap a ton of them. I always wondered about that. Seems so wasteful. But I don't like the way that dirt's gonna show up there. Can I see? Because no, the cobble's going to come down, so I won't see that dirt over there. But I might see that dirt there, and yeah. I'll at least do that much. There we go, so I got my three guys going in there. Put it the right way. No. All right. Yep. So those three guys are facing the. <laughs> I keep leaning back like that's going to help me look. Boy, he's facing the right way, he's facing the right way. Oh, 
and server lag. There we go. So those guys are facing the right way. Those guys are facing the right way. All the hoppers are still pointed down. That is it for the red. Oh no, I need. I need more filter fish. I'm gonna need. 22 22 Oh no, whatever will I do with all that cod? <laughs> do something about that. Yeah, I gotta do a lot more lighting. Alright, and so you are gonna get half of that. I don't feel like doing all the work to make that even. And you are gonna get all that. Alright, yep, yeah, there we go. side of that guy. All right. Then boxes. Oh, no, parkour failed me. here and a box there everywhere box I got some extras yeah because I pulled them off the wall sitting there to like where did I come up with the extras again okay bits going up there oh no no step ahead of myself step ahead of myself also gonna need that there. Because what I really need to do is go one, two. Nope. One, two. One, two. Then. I can do that there, and I can do that there, and then I can do there to fill the space, and that there, and those there. Voila! Four brewing stands filled in there. Alright. And I was going to put in some water breathing and slow falling. Let's do slow, slow falling. All right, consult the handy reference that keeps powering down on me. Effort to conserve battery, I think. 
All right, slow falling. We need phantom membrane and redstone. So, sticking with the theme, going to be er, what? That works. I know what it means. <laughs> Alright, so I got the nether wart in there. I need some redstone in there. And my few remaining phantom membranes down here. Right, where's my bottles of slow fall? There we go. We got those guys in there for now. Get some water bottles in here. Go ahead and get five in there. And some more in there. And even though I don't want to burn up too much of the phantom membrane, although the whole reason why it's here is to run this guy. Oh, which almost reminded me. I need... Grab... Blaze powder. Short-term memory something. <sighs> okay. So let's give this guy a test. We hit that. Our water bottles fill in. Our nether work comes down. should give us the slow falling and I guess technically the sign should say slow falling plus you know what? let's go ahead and do that now plus and here's our redstone so slow falling 130 is going to become Slow falling. Oh, and there it goes. We're back down to our lone netherwort. And there we go. Slow falling four minutes. Beautiful. Um, and I'm going to find a home for that guy that I can tuck into a corner somewhere. Almost tempted to tuck it into that corner there. Uh, just because I'm gonna need uh, to handle that water bottle problem here soon. Anyway, that is empty now. I should put more of my uh, book storage up there on that wall. <laughs> All right. Uh, what was the other one that I was going to do? I, was I going to do water breathing? Yeah, I could do water breathing. Although at this point, I'm wondering, would I be better doing water breathing? Or would I be better doing... Uh, not weakness. I already got slow falling. I'm not using Turtle Master. Uh, night vision. Would night vision be worthwhile? I don't really use that that much. I don't use the water breathing that much either, but uh, I'm probably going to get more use out of that. I could do potions of regen, but I don't have a whole lot of gas tears. Poison. Eh. Nope. 
can do Potion of Harming, but that's not worth doing unless I'm going to make it a Splash Potion. Uh, I've already got Healing. Strength is not really going to help me. Uh, slowness, Swiftness. Now, let, let's go. Let's go with our first one in Water Breathing. And I need Pufferfish and Redstone. should be the three potions of water breathing that I got so far. We got water breathing. And that means I'm going to need That's right, I just had the sugar there because that was a crafting component. How much redstone did I put in there? of it. We'll go there. Alright, redstone. Another wart. Puffer fish. Alright, let's give it a test just to make sure. And what's missing? Oh, water bottles. <laughs> That's going to be a waste of some good, good potion brewing gear. All right. Uh, hmm. Gonna have to do something with all these other potions too. That might be a problem for another day. I hate doing that for just two potions. <laughs> Although it's not like Pufferfish is rare, it's not like Redstone is rare. Nice thing about the new villager trading mechanics is you can get just about all this stuff from trading with villagers. I don't think you can get Nether Wart yet, but it wouldn't surprise me if that comes around before too long. Um, that's Water Breathing 3. And that's Water Breathing 8. Nice. And I need water bottles. Badly. Yeah. Alright, so where am I going to put a water source? Uh, you know what I could do? And I just thought about this. Good. Grab this here. And this here. And this here. Uh, this could be a very bad idea. Oh yeah, no, 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 never mind. That's going to be a bad idea. Because that's not going to work the way I want it to. Oh shoot. Because that's where the floor is. Okay, All right. I already thought about that one. Uh, all right, uh, you know what? Do I have a bunch of spruce trap doors already ready? I bet I do. If I've got four of them. Trap door, trap 
けどwater source because I don't really need that. There we go. That actually should be good enough. Not as pretty as I'd like, but uh, I don't feel like taking up the space to do one of these guys, an infinite source. At least not there. And we'll put the bucket. And we'll put the ice cube. I'll toss that back in its appropriate box at a later date. As we're reaching the end of my endurance. Let's grab those guys there. And let's clear some of this stuff out of the inventory just for space for the moment. Okay. Distributing these relatively evenly across. Using whatever empty bottles I have. The nice thing is I don't usually get rid of my empty bottles when I uh, finish them out and about. At least not if I can help it. bottles before I started or when I get to this point. All right. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. last guy. I can go ahead and do that. And there we go. I've got chock full of water bottles. I've got four automatic brewing stations and I've cleared up some of the clutter over here. I'm still going to find a uh, home for this guy. Might as well do that right now. Yeah. I didn't think that went through. All right, let's tuck that guy. Let's do that right there. Where's... <laughs> oh, where is my 
Brewing stand. Bam. Okay, that's what I thought. Awkward. Instant damage. I thought I was going to get it off. Alright, let's get my, uh, yeah. So I leave over here. All right, there we go. You know what? Let's not have that in hand as we walk around. There we go. All right, let me put that there. Let me go ahead and get those three awkward potions in there. Just so that way that's ready for whatever it is that I want to do next. And let's start laying out some ingredients. Uh, I'm not going to need two stacks of gunpowder up here. Because uh, I can use this as a finishing station for anything that I want to make, a uh, splash potion or anything like that. And I'm going to need sugar, and I'm going to need glowstone. I'm not going to need two stacks of sugar. And I'm pretty sure there's other ingredients, but uh, that might be another day. So when I, I make one more of these guys, and I set up a portable potion station, probably in my... Uh, I had a box of potions in here somewhere. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. It's too full of potions. <laughs> I'll make a portable potion box eventually and uh, drop that in there. And oh yeah, I was going to take a... <laughs> okay. Nope. I don't know what's going on. My mouse decided to do weird things today. There we go. So I can just toss all the ingredients that I want to go in the potion in there. And that way I don't have to fight with it. I can just toss potions, ingredients, let it drop down in here. And I can do a five, uh, four ingredient potion in here, the nether wart and the four more. I'll store a stash of ingredients down here. I'll go back over the list to make sure I've got at least a stack of everything or close enough to a stack of everything. And, uh... There we go. Sweet. Ain't nothing left but the cleanup. But, um, uh, oh, actually, you know what? Dark there. Let's at least light that up. Okay, good. Beautiful. Okay, it's not really beautiful, but it's good enough. I might play with that and clean it up a little bit more some other way at some point. But, uh, it appears that is the time that we have for tonight. So, we did a little update on all those projects going on over there. We showed how successful the new iron farm has been. We got our lighthouse clock going, and we got four new brewing stations all in here. I might eventually come back and do item frames on these guys instead of the sign. Although, with the item frame and the button, I'm pretty sure I don't want to do it that way. And, um, alright, so there we go. We got our new brewing stands, our four uh, sem oh, pretty much automated stations. For our common leaves potions, and one station for any time we need to do a one-off off to the right there. Probably going to have to find some more water bottles somewhere. And maybe set up in a, a little box of water bottles off uh, off to the right of that guy. But um, that will be for another day. I'll have to do something about those boxes of books and saddles over there. But uh, in the meantime, this is where I want to go ahead and say... Nope. Uh, I've, I got my shortcuts covered up over here. Nope, not intermission. There we go. All right. I wanted to say thank you, have fun, enjoy. If you liked what you saw, you know, give a follow on uh, Twitter, Mix, YouTube, 
or you know subscribe if you're watching this on youtube give it a thumbs up if you liked it if you want to leave a comment or any feedback on uh for future episodes or that sort of thing i do want to get into producing episodes uh something a little shorter tighter a little less um free form <laughs> as what the live streams end up being so if you got any suggestions for that leave that in the comments as well if you'd like to send a cup of coffee to keep this admin running, or a couple of bucks to keep the server running, you can do that at live.anonjunior.com. That will take you to my Streamlabs page. Right now it's just got the tip jar, and it should have some merch coming up in another couple of weeks. Uh, it was my, f my intent to work on that th this past weekend, but I hurt my back. And I spent the weekend laid out on the couch, not doing much of anything except ice heat and sleep and ice and heat and sleep uh so i am doing better about that <laughs> or better from that just uh, it pushed a lot of plans out of out of sync and we do this every tuesday at 6 p.m u.s eastern on twitch.tv and mixer.com i re i use restream.io to send to both if you're watching this on YouTube, there will be links down in the channel below. If you're already watching on the streaming site, uh, do the follow, do the heart, or the appropriate for whichever one you're on. And uh, all the archives are posted up on YouTube if you want to get notified when those produced episodes start. Especially if you want to get a notification when the premiere episode comes out. Uh, do subscribe to the channel. And with all that said and done, I've got another stream this week coming up on Thursday. Thursdays at 6 p.m. is when I do Games Revisited. Right now we're going through Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. And uh, since there's rumored to be a TV or a movie trilogy coming off of that material, it might be worth catching up. Archives are on YouTube, and this Thursday will be episode 14? Somewhere or other? And, uh, yeah... It'll be good fun. And with that, good night, have fun, enjoy.